Hello children. Uh, last time we had learned about fertilization. Like how the, uh, you know, if you remember this is the female part of the flower which is called the pistil or the carpel. And when the pollens come over here, I mean it gets stuck on the sticky stigma. What does it do? Of the same kind of flower, then from the pollen, the pollen tube is extended and through the pollen tube, the male gamete, okay, or the male sex, or the sperm cell, the sperm cell enters into the ovule. Remember, this was the ovary and this part is called the ovule. So, the male gamete fuses with the female gamete that is the egg cell in the ovule and they together fuse to form an embryo uh, then it is called zygote okay and the whole process is fertilization so if i ask you what is fertilization it is a fusion of the male and the female gamete the male gamete is in the pollen and the female gamete is in the ovary now that was about fertilization now what happens post fertilization now post fertilization we see that this sepals wither off the petals wither off this stamen also withers off okay they dry and they fall what remains is only this part okay only this part of the flower that is the ovary and the ovule okay this later on swells to form my fruit. So if you see the ovary wall becomes the fruit wall which is called now pericarp. Okay. So the ovary wall remember this is the ovary and this is the wall. So the ovary wall becomes the fruit wall and this ovule now that is we call the mature ovule becomes the seed. So if I ask you what is a fruit? Fruit is the ripened ovary and what is the seed? The seed is the ripened ovule. Alright, now we will take a fruit like this. Okay, suppose this is a mango, a mango seed. The mango seed, if you, if you remember, it is stored inside the fruit and the fruit is very, very fleshy. Right, so what is this? We call this whole thing to be the pericarp. Alright, now pericarp is divided further into three. The peel, the mango peel that we usually throw away, the thin papery mango peel is actually called the epicarp. Biologically it is called the epicarp. The yellow fleshy portion that we love to eat which is sweet, you know, full of sugar, that is our mesocarp. Okay? And the outer covering of the seed is the endocarp. You will get a better idea if I show you an apple. Right? Now in this apple, this is my epicarp. Okay? The outer leathery, papery covering. Thin. This part that we eat, that is the fleshy part which is sweet. Right? Containing starch which is full of starch and acids and all that. This is the mesocarp, the edible part or the eatable part. Now, if you see, this is my seed, right? This is my seed. So, the outer covering of this, this which is kind of thin and, uh, you know, tough, kind of protecting the seed because the seed is the, is containing the embryo, the little plant inside. So, we have to protect the seed. So, who is protecting it? That is the endocarp. Alright. Now, when I take the seed. Now, uh, we'll just go to this a little. But in many, many fruits, we will find that these three layers are sometimes not defined. Like if you take a maize grain, you will see the fruit wall, the seed wall are all fused together. Okay. So, in a grain, you will not find all this differentiation. Right? And also if you take a tomato. You know in a tomato also nothing is very well defined. It is all fused together. And there in apple we found only one or two maximum three seeds. But here you know you have seen many fruits like watermelon. 
many many seeds are there so here also many seeds are there so biologically we can say that vegetables and fruits are not very different they are same all right now what is the function of this fruit the function of this fruit mainly is to protect the seed the seed which is containing the embryo that is a future plant okay now suppose have you seen a guava guava has so many small small seeds in it right so when a parrot eats a guava what does it do it throws the seeds here and there right so it is when the seed gets dispersed it falls in different places and from there new plants come up right so first is it helps in the protection of the seed second it is sweet containing starch right so the plant stores its starch in the fruit and the third it helps in seed dispersal all right now next we come to the seed now we will learn the seed in detail so if you see a seed the seed is much like this okay the seed wall is called the seed coat the seed wall is called the seed coat now here the seed is pretty big and in tomato we found that the seeds are very small and if you take coconut it is very very big right so the seed size also varies from large to small to micro all right now why should i learn seed because it is the most important part of the plant if we can say because it helps in the growth of future plants right the seed coat is protective in function it protects the inner layer all right the seed coat again has two parts that is the testa and the tegmen the testa is hard and tough and the tegmen is very thin all right now here there is a small hole okay that is called the hilum now what is the function of the hilum now if i keep the seed you know like suppose uh, some uh, you know uh, like this if i take some you know chana like this so will it grow it will not grow if i sow it in mud if it gets proper sunlight if it gets water so you know moderate temperature then only the seed will grow to a new plant so this seed will need favorable condition to grow into a new plant all right now if i open this seed let us see if i so if i open this seed let us try you can also try at home you know just uh, soak it in water and uh, then if you just uh, strain and keep it you will see this uh, thin white portion has come out what is this let us learn first there is a covering this is my seed coat right this is my seed coat what is this this is the cotyledon of the seed so if you see this seed has two cotyledon okay cotyledon is filled with nutrition it helps the young embryo to grow when it gets favorable condition okay so it is also kind of providing nutrition to the embryo when the seed is inside the seed coat now i have soaked it in water so it has got uh, you know swelled up and now you see a small uh, part of the embryo is coming out which we call is as radical this radical will become the future root and later on a uh, aerial part or upper part of the plant will also come out with leaves and all that will that is called the plumule so plumule becomes the aerial part or the shoot and the lower part is the radical which becomes the root all right at home you can soak seeds you can try but you know this kind of fruits these are the dry fruits i forgot to mention these are very dry you know the outer covering is very very dry so we'll call them as dry fruits and these are the fleshy fruits okay thank you